Oh hi, it's Opai, Bad Ending, welcome you back to Let's Badly Dub Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Oh. Last time, Satan. Now let's go. <laughs> let's, let's investigate. <laughs> December 26th, Den Center. Visitors room. <laughs> Maya. Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeport made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey. Why did you do that anyway? Well, why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. Hmm. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's talk. Question? Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, see as this is our first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Oh, and he wanted me to get all money ready. He can pay for me, okay? Uh, uh, how much? Oh no, I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Any luck with Mia? Um, I can't get through to her at all. She's tight, let me tell you. <laughs> I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. <clears throat> she sounds like she really did do her best. Always do your best. <laughs> I should check and see if there's any or any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever be able to see my sister again. Oh, how sad. But, let's uh, check up on somebody. Yeah. Or oh, actually, or actually we need to uh, go different places because we need to pass time. Actually. Detective Mr. Glumshoe's not here. I'm sure I'm to see him again today. Huh? Oh, really? He's at live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief or not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build a case against Edgeworth. Yeah. So, no. Let's get back to the entrance here. Hmm. There are fewer than there than were yesterday. The cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. He is, but we just have to find him. Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably all painted through the nose on a day with the lovey Beyonce. Not to be confused with Beyonce. Beyonce stinks. Anyways, let's uh check the woods. Oh hey, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> hey now. Uh the trial today. Uh, uh, uh Yes, what about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but uh, it wasn't really all that. So you did say Edgeworth, I guess. I switched around the shirt and thank you. I don't know how to thank you, you know? Uh, thanks. Mm. Let's talk about tomorrow's trial. Uh, Detective Gumshoe. Any idea what strategy Bon Karma is playing for tomorrow? Uh, he sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? There were two witnesses. <laughs> Didn't think I'd have to bring that voice. Yeah. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? So, so, sorry, pal. As much as I like to, I am not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Mm. Alright. I want you to ask you something about Hitchworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard any of that, that before. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about much himself. About himself too much, see. But there is one thing that is clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. And him becoming a lawyer. And him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. DL6 incident? Uh, yup. Uh, 
<laughs> That's the one. 15 years ago. When he saw his father shot through before his very eyes, he still feels the pain now. I mean, you can see it in his eyes. Let's talk about Maya. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. Oh, uh, yeah, she's not on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man, I don't know what I could have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her get dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Edgeworth, he was so moved. I saw his lip tremble. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? Back to the station. I'll get the report out by and get her out there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh wait. Um, I was wondering how much is the bail going to be? Uh, uh, don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Uh, didn't I tell you? He's grateful for her what for what she did. All right, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay me this month's rent. <laughs> oh, don't get too, don't get too uh, cocky there, man. Huh. Time to go back to the detention center. <clears throat> okay, everyone, it's time to go back to the detention center. Oh, uh, did I have the voice? No. Okay. I just, I just made that up. Sorry, <clears throat> my throat is kind of shot. Hey Nick, you finally came! <laughs> I, of course I came. <laughs> took me that a while, could be but... taken out of context. <laughs> That's why I said that. <laughs> Hashtag Phoenix Drive. Phoenix. Oh my god. Now I really want to see what the hell that is. I just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Thank god your money, you're free at last. Those interrogators were really mean! You were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal! Can you believe it? Well, they let you on the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail! Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. He said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make up for him! We got to win this case, Nick! I'm pretty sure a good simple blowjob would, uh, win a fix. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but, <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think we should do next? We're kinda lacking in the clothes department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. Yeah, you're kinda lacking in the boobs department, but I still love you. Uh. I, I was kidding! <laughs> Still, if there are any clues out there, I bet the park is as good as bet. Uh, the park's as good as bet as any. <laughs> I said that wrong, sorry. What do you say? Shall we head down there and have her nose a quickie? Sure! <laughs> yeah, she agreed to me, see? <laughs> you heard that? You heard what you all heard that? Get your head out of the gutter, oh pie! I assume we're gonna meet that friggin' crazy ass Texan right now. <laughs> there aren't any cops around today, are there? They're probably black at the precinct, working up against working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Oh. Hey y'all! <laughs> hey, it's Lula! Y'all really did it today. What did we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a lot of good thinking, a little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is my big responsibility, but I just went up and started blabbing the only old thing that came to mind. Lana. So you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? Uh, what do you have in mind right now? Uh, what did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it up just to say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. I kinda convinced myself I had though. I'm sorry, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory's a pretty vague little thing. 
Yeah, I sure don't have now. I'll be fine the next time I witness the murder. Right! You mean the first time you witness the murder. What about Gordy? Right! Well, the way I figured it is, trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photo and rocket to stardom! Alright, Lana! Let him go, girl! I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too! Pyrrhager, finish your spirit medium training first. Lana, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see... I don't think we have time for a threesome, really. Actually, I got a bit of information for ya. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the art of it! See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. <laughs> Bodily fluid exchange, probably. <laughs> exchange. I don't really have time for a threesome, I just told you that. Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right! I propose a little exchange to make it up to you! <sighs> what?! Information don't come cheap, my friend! <sighs> hey! I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these sounds works are! <laughs> it's written all over your face! Let me tell you, most sound words are way more sophisticated than you! I'm just the exception, okay? Well, well it be, we got a deal or not? What, what do we do, Nick? Deal or no <laughs> deal? <laughs> She's the banker. <laughs> we see. are prepared to make a deal. Yeah. Oh, we don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You're completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm oh. not trying to rob the poor. Oh, I remember now. I know what she wants. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is more information. <laughs> Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. What? 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 Gordy? Then bring me proof that the show is nothing. Uh, I'll be keeping the watch from the car, okay? You say something, y'all come to see me first, got it? Uh, okay. Right, see y'all later. Mm. Okay, Nick, let's get on then. Uh, hunting? You, you don't seriously mean it. Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? Oh, great. All right. I don't remember if you need to go further first or go back to the criminal affairs then. Uh, I'm gonna go to the beach. Ah, yes, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Larry, he's gonna come back here. What, 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 what's that? The, the steel samurai, Nick! Yo, my, uh, Larry, what, is, what the heck is this? Oh, it's, it was my girl Keonce's idea. She was all like, if you put this here, that would be, like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me in love with the banner. Wow. That's really impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people, and that show's finished now, so she got them for free. Did you know Edward's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes! He acts like a little boy! Huh? 
That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a year. He transferred schools pretty quickly. Transfer? Right, when the deal six medicine happened. It doesn't look like Larry knows about it though. Hey Larry, what was that big thing? with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Oh, 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 right. The, 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 the compressor was busted. The compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put the air in the steel samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. Then you I thought you'd inflated it by yourself. We can't do anything else for now. No, we can still examine this. What's this machine? That, that's a compressor. I used to fill up that balloon there with air. Ah, neat! Just got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. Uh, doesn't that steel samurai look, look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. Something about this steel samurai doesn't just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. Hmm. Still a novice, aren't you, Nate? Really? True, novices are like Cody and me. Don't fall for this kind of stuff. <sighs> these, steel, these steel samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. Alright. Alright. Enough dilly dallying. As you said, let's go see, uh, let's go back to the criminal uh, affairs department. Let's, let's go see Detective Sweatshoes. <laughs> Detective Gumtree. <laughs> I was hesitating between the two. Hey there, pal. Uh, what's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that was gonna hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean, again? Uh, whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides, money for that is. <laughs> sure. Jeez. It's not like you have anything on your pockets. How's the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the loan suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Mr. Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Edgeworth. I gotta admit, doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? Down or like, not personally, no. Well, I'm looking for him. Oh, uh, are you out of your mind? <laughs> you got no time. You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh, is scaring me, Nick. Here, we have to explain to him now. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lana. Nick! Try telling him sooner next time! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I see, pal. Uh, sorry for shouting you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid in your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you on one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Secret weapons. Okay. Give us the goods! Oh, no, nah, now. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret number one. Missile. Missile? He's a canine police dog still in training. Missile. Missile. Here, Paul. Oof. Here he is. <laughs> Jeez, you missile's not necessary. Let me! Cute dog! Cute dog. 
this will help us. How? Uh, next. Secret weapon number two. A fishing pole. Here. This is my own personal pole. <laughs> I don't want to look at your pole, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Detective Gumchu. <laughs> One, I'm one, trying one, not to laugh while I have the one, voice changer one, on. This, this pole is not a monster. No. God damn it. Detective Gumtree, we're looking for a monster. Yeah. <clears throat> How are we supposed to catch a full sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. <laughs> okay. This next one is the last one. No, please. I'm already overwhelmed by your choices. Zero number one, one three. Number three. A metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe. We're looking for something alive. All right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might be an eating soda can. Well, which would it be? Um. I can't make up my mind, Nick. It all seems so perfect. I can't make up my mind either. For the totally opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. <laughs> borrow missile. <laughs> borrow the you dog. get you get some flavor text if you use missile or the fishing pole, but we need to go with the metal detector. Even though it doesn't seem to make sense, yeah. that's what we go with. Can we borrow that metal detector? Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure where we're gonna go fine with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Anyways, All right. time to go back to the park. I'm gonna take my out to the park. <laughs> On a leash. Oh boy. Actually, actually, we're going to some place that has not been seen. We haven't been there yet. No, we haven't. It's a time for 26 boat rental shop. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. <laughs> I said blows over. I get it. it... Oh. <laughs> Nick! It's beeping! The metal detectors found something! It yeah, sure is long enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? Because you're my dog. <laughs> Go, Missile. <laughs> Nick? Look! Hey, look, a soda... <laughs> uh, huh? An air tank? Huh? The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Uh huh. There's something round around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags. Well, might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. A string of flags that are un of countries that are unimportant or not important. <laughs> Let's go confront Larry. <laughs> You with something. Not even gonna acknowledge what you just said. <laughs> if you express my opinion, man, wonder, do not condone to those. <laughs> <laughs> this video has been flagged for pol politically incorrectness. What? An air tag? What about it? <clears throat> Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? Say, is this air tank yours? Well, why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of the flags around your steel summer right here. <laughs> it's suddenly the uh, music. It must be a coincidence. There's a string of flags everywhere these days. Like elementary schools. And music from dealerships. Ugh, why would I need the tank anyway? To inflate some. Just this to inflate that, didn't you? Uh, inflate what? What else? That big puffy 
he's still samurai. I got hit the nail on the head. Uh, 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 actually, uh, um, see, the compressor I was used to was out of prints. So I tried using the tank and inflate it just once. And uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. Let's so ask more about the tank. It didn't go so well? Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? So I really don't want to talk about it. Still us, still us. Mm, fine. Whatever. It's not like it's like what I said. The compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then blank. <laughs> the valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And the tank took there took off like a rocket. Took my part of the flight to steal samurai with it. What? Wasn't the gourd late? It sure scared the. It should scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Ah, uh, great. Let me talk to you again. Yep, flying air tank. Um. So the thing that the steel samurai you were trying to steal it flew away. What happened next? So, the 20th, a week ago. Now, as far as I can see, the tank went up flying out into that lake. So, I went out every night in the boat looking for it. I mean, you can't give me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. It flew way out there. It took me four whole, took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery, at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. Yeah, we should. To the entrance. Oh boy, it's time. Uh, no, not the entrance. Oops, wait a minute. Uh, Need to go deeper the in the woods. My bad. I forgot <laughs> she she left. She she went she went back to her car. I totally I totally missed that. All right. Hello. Hey y'all. Well, y'all find anything out about Gordy? <laughs> sure no shucks no darling Monica. Um, no, nothing. I'll keep moving. It gets cool out of here all night time. It is a little chilly. I... I think I have to sneeze. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, now you don't know teasing. <laughs> oh, not again. I told y'all no sneezing. Hey, I said the camera to let spawn things a little softer than a bang. And drag her on one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's nice, but I'm on my film. <laughs> hey, <the> lady. <laughs> my me. Uh, shit, man. Why? I learned something to these trials for sure. Best man in the story is just business. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, did you say that you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll trade it up for the dirt and Gordy. Yeah, right. About him. Well, Mr. Dyer, I've got the info y'all need. And y'all got the scope on Gordy for me yet? We found him. Huh? Gordy? Oh yeah, we found him already. What? I haven't seen any monsters yet. Y'all for real? Gordy really exists? Wait. I need proof. You got a photo? 
Who is that proof? Who said it? Who was when I went to the bathroom, wasn't it? She was in the bathroom. Ding. <laughs> That's when you make fun like a gory. No. And I'm jabbering already. I see your proof. Yes. All right. Here's your proof. I'm gonna smash you in the head with this. <laughs> that. Harry's air tank. <clears throat> what are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Cory. Um. Excuse me. What exactly are you saying, man? There's a stand here. Here, a hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who happens to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it. He used this air tank and went about blue. The tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. Same time. A couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the steel samurai? Hmm. Uh, well, that's a fine way to rule the girl's dream. I'm sorry, Lana. Eh, uh, it's okay, you win. I'll give you your info, like I promise. Poor oh, Lana. Oh. Hmm. So tell us this information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about a witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place on the pad here. Boat rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. That's an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lana. We will. Let's get fucking me. <clears throat> Hold on. Something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera quick twice yet, though. Oh! Wait, so you, Wait, have, another... So you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all, just the leak. I figured it would be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be at a full at all, but here, take it. <laughs> Second link photo added to the court record. Bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yep, the legend of Larry familiar to all I familiar to all who will know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. <laughs> Mind if I whip yours into shape? Jesus, <laughs> Maya. <laughs> Shows that I'm too late, taking it automatically. 12.24 at 11.50 p.m. Hmm. But anyways, let's uh, get to that boat rental shop. Oh, beach and then the shop. Alright. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, indeed. Hey, Nick! This is the boat shop that Lana was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around here at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. Yeah, we'll do. The caretaker. Remember, you're doing the, the, the <coughs> caretaker's, caretaker's voice. Yes. The caretaker shop. Meg, is that you? <laughs> hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Nick! <laughs> Nick! You learned all that. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! N yes? Finally made up your mind, haven't you? <laughs> My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone? Pasta? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. 
You made your old man proud. When your kids left the house, I didn't know what to say. How am I supposed to keep this place running like a, an old man like me? Polly, the kids are home. Hello, hello, Spock. <laughs> I fucking forgot about me? him. What was that? God damn it. Sparrow Syndrome. Damn of course I had to have a cameo in this. Of course. <laughs> good time. It's good to see you again, Sparrow Uh, A parrot. I wanted that, I wanted that perch. Okay. Get gas. I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. <laughs> Take it and firmly grasp it. Take it out of context. Nick, what's the wet noodle? <laughs> you, you don't want to know, Maya. I'll tell you when we're back in the office. Alone. Um, based on the available evidence, I say it's the name of this, this pasta shop. Oh, that's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello, Squawk. Feel asleep. I guess he's relieved. <laughs> I relieved him of his wet noodle. Um, a pasta shop? Yep. To think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know? So that makes you the two and the third generation. Bag. Yes. Tomorrow we'll start with a series of dough tossing. Dough tossing? You too, Keith. And yes. You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. Pasta wrangler? The West? <laughs> is the pasta from Italy? Bag. Yes. You know the best pasta is always made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course, everybody knows that. Me? Huh? We have to keep this all in the family terrain. This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. We'll talk about the shop though first. <sighs> um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here's the pellet, the pasta, the wet noodle. Oh, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, yo dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I keep the boats out there. Youngsters these days, darn if I don't understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. But, the, but this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We got to find some way of getting information out of him. Oh boy, we must get something out of him quickly. I think you have to present that one thing you usually present to everyone. Oh yes! Show... Let me show you my intention. SHOW TIMER! <sighs> that a lawyer's badge? Yes it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. I'm so happy. Mm, I get it. Huh? Yep. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. Hmm. Me? How's I'm trying to clear things up? Um, sir. No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We're investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Uh, lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, um, uh, but on one condition. What's that? When this case is over or done, you run the wet noodle. <laughs> we, we can't promise that. Oh, well, response doesn't matter, though. Uh... If I remember correctly. <laughs> uh, what should I do? I don't actually remember using the second option personally. Let me see. I dropped.
drop it. <laughs> did you just flip a coin? I did. Why did it land on anyways? Because <laughs> I dropped it. Ugh. Is it tails, please? Tell me it's tails. Yeah, it is tails. Okay, shit. All right, I'll ch I'll, I'll, I'll pick the second option since. Huh? I guess I'll see that for the first time. <laughs> I can't make that promise. That's a winning way to treat your old man. Bah, you want my help? You come to the wrong man. Uh-oh, that is grumpy. Now imagine that Huey still thinks they were his kids. Maybe we should just lie and just say we're running shop. Okay, we promise. Hey, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get your case, this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? <laughs> I guess so. Hey, she's not in the mood for my noodles. <laughs> That's my boy! Good for you, Keith. But wait, didn't I just say You do, Meg! It is? <laughs> you bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know? Now, what was it that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello! Hello! Squawk! Yeah. Now he's talking to that bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? It's weird, man. Uh... Oh, yeah, wait, 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 We're supposed to... No. No. This. We're supposed to show this. I yep. don't believe. Actually, no, 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 wait, 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 before I do that, I want to tell I you... I think we do have to show this eventually. Yeah, but I want to talk to, uh, this dude, the bird. Wow, what an amazing bird that is! Good morning! Mm. Hello! Mm. <laughs> you ignored me! What? You forgot, Meg? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you been? Hello! Hello! Squawk! Neat! So the bird's name is Polly! And all she can say is hello. Har har. Oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Hmm. Check uh, the thing on top of the TV there. Right. Look, a little safe. Hmm. No, don't go. You don't you go opening people's safe without their permission, Meg. Maybe later. Later. Oh dear. She's she's up to no good again. <laughs> but then again, actually not examining the parents. Now we can talk about him. About it, that is. Uh, my memory's got worse of late. That's why I just tell them everything important to old, to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the say? 1228, Squawk! Alright! Hey, hey, Polly, watch it, will you? <laughs> See, Nick? Well, it takes a little help for everything, hey. And a criminal mind. <laughs> Wait, Nick, write that number down! Hey, don't get me involved in your little high schemes. <laughs> Jeez, now let me present that photo. As I knew what I thought I knew I forgot something. Uh, that's like, uh, uh, yo, I see this. Y you know something about this, sir? Keith. Y yes. It's okay. You can call me Dad. <sighs> d d dad <laughs> Do you know something about this? Yup. The other night, I wouldn't believe you. Yes, yes. I know all about that. I seen it. What? Tell us! Tell us what they saw! Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. Yeah, now I think something else is gonna talk about. What you saw. Uh, I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Yup. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, so I look outside, and I heard another one. Bang! A while later, 
this boat comes back. And then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself and yelled. What did he say? Yep. I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time. Promise. You need to go earlier than that. You know what? Eh, the little Terry was just here. Terry. Yup, that kid next door. You always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself out some whiskers growing out of his face. Hmm, he must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're gonna get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh wait! And one more question. Bully, bully, have we forgotten something? Squawk! Don't forget DL6! Squawk! Huh? What did you just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6! Squawk! What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister, I, I mean, dad. getting weird. Who is this old guy? We just probably leave. How would the bird probably know about the old six? We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. Hmm. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. There's a criminal department of affairs. And we're going back to the police station. The lolly station. Lolly's department, criminal affairs. <laughs> hey, pal, long time no see. You don't look so happy. Uh, what's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Uh, yeah. Let's talk. What about Caretech? You know about the old rental shop down at the court lane? Uh, oh yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a court witness in court tomorrow, right? Huh? How did you- That was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is? Do you know who that old man is, Detective? My bad. Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided at first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Mm. Detective Gumshoe, please help us. <laughs> that was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think that has something to do with this current case. To tell you the truth, I don't know how much about the DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, well... I guess I'll consider it the final one. I have something that can uh, convince you. I think you have to present the parrot, actually. Sparrow said. Here. <laughs> What's that? Parrot? Uh, Hi, Mr. Gumshoe! <laughs> <laughs> the old man from the, at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about that. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Deal six. <laughs> Have we forgotten something? Squawk! Don't forget DL6! Squawk! Huh? Oh yeah, I said that! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that old man had must have taught her that word. Yeah, yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, 
What if... What if that old man was connected to the DL6? Who's Nick? You think it might be? I... I get you. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 sensor. Though here is the station records room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. Alright! Way to go, Detective Gumshu! Okay, Nick! To the records room! I guess it's time we face Edgeworth's past. Indeed. Alright, let's go to the records room. Indeed we do. Wow! It's amazingly dusty! Ten years of files, ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DLC stuff! Fifteen years ago, both Amy and Edgeworth were nine years old. Earl was through with fourth grade when he suddenly turned transfer because of DL6. Hey! I found the wall where the file is! Uh, oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. That's the case summary. Well, at first I need to get a handle on the main facts. Like a summary. Right. Summary, summary, found it. Here you go. Summer 28, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So, in two days, this case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of, of, of that district, district court. What? Is this the same district court where we're all doing the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court, part of the court building collapsed and all the lights went out. Another Japan earthquake. Wow, that was some earthquake. See, at the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours to be the, for them to be rescued. Five hours? That would be scary like that in the dark. There was lack of there was a lack of oxygen in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes, so Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Do you have any data on the victim? Edward's father. Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, on it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If you were still alive, you'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. of the bullet and the other evidence could have not been a suicide. Their murder weapon pistol was found in the elevator. The pistol has been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh? It sounds like just this current case. What's going on here? Uh, got any data on the suspect in here? Hmm, that would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on, this is it. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found incident, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robin Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. So much hate, so much that he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in that elevator. After he was declared incident, he was he disappeared. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? Maybe closer than we think. 
guess I know generally what happened to DL DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole Ed thing had, had on Edgeworth. Nick! Are you going to take the whole file? There's too much! We'll never get it now! You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? It's a very big file. Right. That's probably all we need. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testimony at court. To be continued. And that is the end of this investigation portion. Ah, uh, great. <laughs> all right. As he said, that is the So how uh, did you all enjoy my performance? <laughs> Sparrowson, we all enjoyed it. Uh, Yay! Anyways, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the second trial day. Yes! See you guys then. See you guys next time!